What's going on, Assassins? It's Starkshot of the YouTube Assassin. And we're going to start off the Taco Tuesday trifecta. We're going to pregame with a damage report on what happened with the brand new update 1.32. Now, I did do a reading yesterday as to what they were adding and what they were taking away. Mostly, they put in a lot of stuff for the Discovery Tour, which is coming out on the 19th. So that's why it was such a big patch. It really prepared for that. They addressed some issues, uh, things that I didn't have a problem with, maybe you had a problem with. If this did get repaired for you, by all means, let us know in the comments. If something else was broken, let us know in the comments as well, because usually when they give us a brand new patch, they mess something up. Anyway, the very first thing I noticed was the Codex. They did a lot of things involving the River Raids, don't know if it's improved or whatnot. Uh, the load time was the same for me going in and out of the river raids, so it really wasn't that big of a deal, at least to me. If uh, it improved times for you, definitely let me know, or maybe if you didn't get stuck at all. Now, one of the other things I noticed was the stats. They said that the stats were supposed to be improved. I'll check up on that later. I'll take a look at the stats, see how many points it takes to you know just move per stat uh i don't know how this is going to affect gameplay honestly i don't think it's going to affect it much uh you know the game is pretty easy to begin with and regardless of how strong you get one of the things i really did want to take a look at though was did they indeed fix the shops and i was kind of shocked so I had already leveled up, and here I am grabbing a scroll of knowledge off Yan Lee here in the settlement. And then I'm going to travel over to Frankia and see if those were repaired. And surprisingly, they kind of were, they kind of weren't. As you can see, I've got a scroll of knowledge here, and that's kind of shocking. So what i did from there was i tried to see if i was able to go to another spot and collect another scroll maybe they did not repair it and we're kind of going to fast forward through this but here we go we go to a brand new location there's a brand new uh item vendor over there we're going to walk up to her we're going to see if she's got another scroll of knowledge and looking she does not so really weird they fixed it so that you could go to one vendor in Frankia purchase the scroll of knowledge and then you could go to Ireland or to England and purchase a second one for some reason England Vinland Norway and Ireland are all connected so if you go to any of those spots and you collect a scroll of knowledge or materials at all, they, they'll be all connected. You can't go to any one of those other vendors in any of those other areas and collect extra materials. But you can go over to Frankia and collect similar materials as if you did not collect it from there so instead of doing it six times where you did it once in england and then five times in frankia you can only do it one time in england and then one time in frankia which still gives us double the resources but it really doesn't you know like benefit us the way it did prior which kind of sucks but you know i i figured that they were going to fix it the way it should have been fixed, but still, they didn't fix it all the way. Which, I mean, it's still a benefit. Make sure that you, uh, you know, use that to your advantage. Unfortunately, you know, they, they really, they, they, it benefited us, so they, they kind of screwed us. But anyway, yeah, I did all this in real time just to double check, just to make sure that this could all be done. And, and just to prove to you guys that that's at least working. Um, looked at the uh, fish, like selling the fish off. The fish seem to be the same prices. There is uh, no real difference there, which I thought they were going to screw us on that as well. 
because this is the same group, as I said yesterday, they took the skins that we got in Origins, being that they're the same team, and they lowered the prices on the skins. In this situation, they did not lower the prices on the fish, so you're still making some level of silver, which is good. And speaking of fish, they did not nerf the fishing spot. There's still the same amount of fish here. And the methods that I was using originally, uh, showing you guys this Valkyrie dive, it, it still works. Again, when you're going to do this, you got to put your settings to easy so that that way you just knock all these fish out immediately. And then, of course, the other way of doing it, the brand new way that I showed you, was using the spinning harpoon, which you get from the Siege of Paris DLC, which really takes these fish out a lot quicker and a lot faster. You just knock them all out like that, and it works too. So they didn't nerf that, which was great. Uh, a couple of you guys had actually given me a tip yesterday, and I want to share that with the uh, community. When you do this, what you want to do is take off all your armor and weapons, shields, everything like that, and your stamina will last longer, which will be absolutely phenomenal because you'll be able to catch way more fish that way with just one ability point. And, uh, you know, thank you to everybody who had uh, mentioned that. That's actually really good. That's why I love this community. I love when you guys come out with, like, some great stuff like that. So be sure to do that. Now, the other thing I wanted to do was check the points. As you see, I'm going to look at the health stat. It's 318.9. So now what I'm going to do is keep adding points. And I started adding it little by little with one and then checking it out. And this was pretty ridiculous because I had to add at least six points to move 0.10 of a point there. Look at this. Now health is at 319. That's kind of crazy. Six points to move it that way. Don't know what the stats really are going to do. It's really not going to like improve it to the point where you're going to be some kind of god. I don't. I just don't know. It, it really didn't have like a huge impact. It's up to you whether or not you want to like go that crazy, buying scrolls of knowledge or uh, leveling up just to put masteries in there. And of course, you get a thousand mastery points per uh, mastery section. So 3,000 mastery points and you're maxed. Anyway, that's all there is for this video. Let me know in the comments below, were you affected? Did this improve anything or did it break anything? Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. It helps this channel out an awful lot. As always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, take care, be good, stay safe, take care of each other. I'll see you all in the next one, and we're going to end this on a ya yi. Ya yi!